This holiday season, we flew to the Big Island to spend time with dear friends and family. Aloha Kako. I am Pualani Johnson and I've known Roger for over 50 years since we were students at CU Boulder together. Madam Pele has chosen to greet him and Jocelyn with not one, but two volcanoes. Pele herself journeyed on her canoe from the island of Tahiti to our Hawaiian archipelago, then chose Hale Ma'u Ma'u for her home at Kilauea. We often see her kino, her body, made up of lava and steam that she sends from the fiery pit. The Pu'uloa petroglyphs are considered sacred. Our Hawaiian ancestors carved them to record travel around the island, express prayers for longevity and well-being, and teach the lesson of Imahalo mau kako iko kako honua kapu, which is a plea that urges us to always respect our sacred earth. Aloha, this is Kyle welcoming my dad and Jocelyn for their visit on the big island, which has been my home for a little over a year and a half now. And along with my partner, Noah, we all headed over to the Kona side to a beautiful Airbnb that I found there called the Bohemian Retreat. And we got to play in the water for a few days. Yes. Here we are, two step. And later that evening, we got very close to some giant manta rays. As an homage to our Iron Man friends, we did a little run from the start of the race out to the Queens Highway. After our trip to Kona, I definitely wanted my dad and Jocelyn to stay near me where I live in Lower Puna, uh, which we also call the Punaverse, and enjoy all the weird, wild, crazy magic that we have access to out here on the Red Road. From the all gender bathrooms to the communal kitchen. For others, clothing was optional, but cats in the kitchen were not. The plus side of all the eco retreats in Pune is being able to walk to places like Secret Beach, just past a small family cemetery.
I currently live at Sundari Farm and Gardens, which is a 10 acre farm and intentional community that offers dance, music, events, different kinds of classes and retreats for locals and international visitors. We practice permaculture here on the land and are also learning and in the practice of what it means to live together in harmony with each other and the elements. I was invited to a powerful and soul enriching women's celebration and we attended a ritual to welcome the winter solstice. I'd call my time here life-changing. I leave here with a true understanding that this place of Pele, our Mother Earth, is just as alive as we are. She hosts us generously and we reside here at her good graces.